we're on. Well, hello, brothers and sisters of the Briar. Professor Jeremiah here. As you might have guessed from a different background, I'm not at my river cabin. I am actually in West Africa. I've uh, been here for a couple of weeks, and this is Christmas e evening. Uh, we've had a whole Christmas day, and uh, it's past time for me to have my secret Santa box here. Now, you will notice that it's open, and part of that's because this box arrived at my address in the U.S. Uh, I think it was the day before I left. And so, I did not do a box opening then, but I did have to just kind of open it as I was packing it in my boxes to come here. I obviously couldn't tell TSA that I had not seen the contents of the box. But I didn't really go through the box, I just looked, opened it, saw that there was a couple of tens in it, and that's as far as I went. Didn't even look to see what the tens were. So it's on you to me. This is as much as I saw. And uh, if you're wondering what I'm smoking, I'm of course smoking my egg-shaped cob here and I have a little country estate in there. So I'll address that before I get into my box here. So, wow, okay, well this is a tin I have not tried. This is Stanwell Classic. And there's another 10 here. Tom L. Tang Tobacco Mixture. And I'm not familiar with that one either. This looks like this might be an age 10. Yeah, November 2014. As you can tell, it's a real swelled up can. I love age 10s. So this is great. I'm sure this is married a little bit. Let me get my glasses here and see if I can tell what this is. I don't really even know what the Stanwell Classic is, but I don't think it says on the back. Oh, it does. It, the Stanwell says, blended from a mixture of Virginia and Mellow Black Cavendish. We have added an, a gently pressed fermented cup plug made from Virginia and Burley. That'll be interesting. And it's an older 10 to, oh, little, I mean, a little age to it. November 2014 as well. So that's great. And this says, a delicious broken flake featuring classic pairing of red and bright Virginias with the addition of mellow flavored, cool smoking, dark burly and flavoring bringing Perique. So that is great. I'm looking forward to smoking this. And I'm sure my coworker will try to steal it away from me since it's got Perique in it. If you notice a hum in the background, that's because we have our generator on. This is West Africa, mind you. And uh, they're not always very friendly with the power here. Hey, another cob. A little cob here. That looks just like my first first pipe I ever had. So it's almost the same shape as the first pipe I had. A little cob there. Tampered. With the bullet casing. Good thing TSA didn't flag me for that. Let's see what caliber we got here. 38 special. Tamper, can't have too many tampers. Let's see. We've got McQuellen Christmas Cheer 2013. That's great. May have to, if I fill another bowl this evening, I may have to put a little bit of this in it. Here's another little bag. Headbanger. Make sure I'm familiar with that. pick out what's in it. Looks like maybe some Virginia leaf in here. Some Cavendish. Can't really tell. I'll have to see when I smoke it. Here in Africa I'll have to really get these bags in 
something because it dries out even a it right now we're in the dry season so it dries out even a even a tin if you open up a tin even putting the lid back on it it'll dry it out uh, Peterson holiday 2013 that's great this will smell oh yeah this smells really nice so I have a pelican case I always put these in, so I have to put them in some uh, pelican cases. And we have a letter. Merry Christmas. Right on the day. So Santa Claus there. The glasses again. Professor Jeremiah, when I received my secret Santa person, I can honestly say I had not heard of you. That's great though, because now it's one more person in the YTPC I am subscribed to. I've watched several of your videos, so I hope I paid enough attention to the gift you some tobaccos you'll enjoy. There are a few samples in there as well. The Headbanger blend is one I had made by Pipes and Cigars, my own blend option. Oh, okay, well that'll be interesting try that. Also included is a disappointing tamper. Doesn't look too disappointing. The driftwood is from Cape Disappointment. Okay, well that explains that. From the Lewis and Clark Expedition, thus the name. Well that's really neat. That's got a little history to it then. Uh, plus there's not much to it. I hope this package finds you well, and to you and yours, have a Merry Christmas, joyous holiday season. And it looks like Brian Metalhead and Cigars, or Cigar Guy, Metalhead and Cigar Guy. So, well, thank you very much. This is really neat, and uh, it's tins, tobaccos I've never tried before, so that's always exciting to have something you've never had before and uh, I look forward to opening these tins in a few weeks here. Uh, right now, as I say, with it being dry season, uh, I try to smoke what I've got open and so as soon as I'm around to opening up another tin, I'll open those up and of course I'll get to sample some of these right away. So uh, that's great. I kind of wished I'd gotten to this a little earlier today and I could have already been smoking them, but uh, we'll do what we can. Well, uh, brothers and sisters, I'm kind of back and forth right now, so likely the next uh, posting you'll see, I'll be back in the States. Uh, not really the way I plan things. I've only been here a couple of weeks, and I've uh, got to go back for uh, a reason. Uh, and so then I uh, should be back here in a month or so. But uh, anyway, I hope you have a happy Christmas yourselves, and see you next time. God bless.